Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss the reorder point and safety stock. This is an extension of the EOQ, economic order quantity that we discussed in the prior session. In EOQ, we find the optimal order quantity. Optimal means we want to minimize our carrying cost of inventory, our reordering cost. We want to minimize our restocking cost. The EOQ assumes that your inventory is being re replenished as soon as your inventory reaches zero. That's the optimal. If you want to minimize your cost, that's the best way. Once your inventory reaches zero, you bring the new inventory. But what's the risk? The risk is if your inventory reaches zero and your supplier did not deliver for one reason or another, it could be disruption in supply chain. It could be that your supplier's employee decided to go on strike and you cannot find the quick suppliers quickly. It could be a natural disaster. It could be a geopolitical event where your suppliers cannot deliver, deliver the product to you. When you run this risk, you, you could be losing sales, you could be losing reputation, and you don't want that to happen. Therefore, in this session, we will introduce not order the reorder point. We're going to build on that and introduce the concept of a safety stock. Why? Because we don't want to get close to zero in terms of inventory because that's taking a risk. This is what we will discuss in this session. This concept is important. It's covered in your C on your CPA exam, CMA exam, finance courses, accounting courses. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So to counter these uncertainties, such as supply chain disruption or strikes, businesses must maintain a safety stock. What is the safety stock? It's that buffer. It's that additional inventory to safeguard against unforeseen delays. Why would those unforeseen delays happen? Again, things out of your control. You know, your suppliers having issues, there's a geopolitical event, so on and so forth. This way, you will never let your inventory hit zero or get close to zero. Why? To recap, the benefit is to mitigate risk. Predict against unpredictable delay. You want to have that extra safety. Maintain operation. Ensure production continues smoothly. You don't have any disruption. You don't stop your production if you are ordering raw material. And obviously, you want to keep your customers happy, whether you are selling them or um, building something for them, you don't want any delays in this. This way you meet your customer's demand cons consistently and on time. So first let's compute the reorder point. The reorder point is when you should place the next order to avoid depleting your safety stock. And that's a factor of how many units you are consuming per day, you're using per day, and how long it's taken you to receive those units. So as assume your business consume or sell 50 units per day, and your supplier takes 10 days to deliver the raw material or the inventory, whether you are selling it or you are building, you are using the raw material. Let's compute the basic reorder point. Well, the daily usage is 50 units. The lead time is 10 days. When you should reorder? Well, it's the daily usage times the lead time. In other words, it's going to take 10 days for them to deliver and you need 50 units during those 10 days. So as soon as you reach 500, what you need to do, you need to start the order because you order at 500. It will take 10 days to receive. By that time, you would have to consume all the 500 units, but you are replenished again. So when your inventory hits 500, that's your trigger to reorder. But this calculation assumes what? Assumes a perfect world where deliveries are always on time. So simply put, think of this. This is the 500 unit. So as soon as you reach the 500 unit, you don't reach zero, you would reach 500 units, you would reorder. So this is the reorder point. Now, bear in mind, you still have, you still have 500 units. Okay, you order, but you still have 500 units. Why? Because those, those, those 
for those additional 10 days, you're going to consume the 500 unit. Then you would receive more units again. Then your inventory goes up. Then we'll go down as soon as it reaches 500, you would reorder again. So that's good. But this is assuming those in those 10 days, there's going to be no delays whatsoever. In 10 days, you would receive the order. Now, we are going to add the safety stock to the equation. You really don't want only 500. You want a little bit extra. Now, how would you factor this extra? Well, to factor the safety, you want to consider past delivery delays. You want to take a look at your past history and kind of determine what's the worst case situation or increase that by double the time or 60% of the time. It depends on what alternative suppliers do you have. But let's assume the longest delay over several years was five extra days. So something happened, when something happened, you will need five extra days either for your either for your supplier to to deliver or find an additional supplier. To be extra cautious, you decide to keep five extra days of inventory. What does it mean five extra days of inventory? Five extra safety days. Again, daily usage times those additional days. You guessed it, 50 units times five days. You really don't want to order at 500. You want to order maybe at 750. Why? Because you want to keep a five additional buffer days. So the reorder point equal to the daily usage times the lead time. This is what we calculated earlier. Then you add to it those extra safety stock. We're looking at 500 plus 250. This means the reorder point is 750 units. So yes, you're going to have extra inventory. But again, you have to balance between that extra inventory and running out. I would rather have the extra inventory and pay a little bit of additional cost having to maintain the inventory rather than run out, lose customers, lose reputation. Uh, my, uh, my, my employees are not happy. I am not happy. My customers are not happy. No reason for that. Always have cushion, extra safety. This is, I believe in that philosophy, whether you are studying, always be over prepared. Financial, always have some extra money on hand, some cushion. Inventory running your business, have extra stock. It does not hurt. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, additional resources. Again, whether you are a finance, accounting, CPA, CMA, or studying for some other certification, invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.